an amazing final day of the Premier League. Not a final day full of drama, not a final day full of swings and roundabouts and highs and lows and backwards and forwards, but a final day that provided exactly what I wanted. And that's what I care about. And primarily what I wanted was Chelsea to win. A draw would have been enough, but I wanted to win, right? And on top of that, Arsenal did not win the Premier League. Maybe I've kept it under wraps a little bit how much I, I didn't want that to be the case. Maybe that's why I was siding more with Spurs fans and stuff. Maybe more than some pundits or certain coaches. To be fair, it makes sense that Andrew wouldn't want his side to lose. He's fully in the game. Where, you know, anyway, kind of seeing a world in which if someone presented me the pro, you know the sort of conundrum of does Chelsea not get Europe? If, if a little wizard came out of a little dungeon and said Chelsea don't get Europe... Um, but it means that Arsenal definitely don't win the league. Or Chelsea do get Europe and Arsenal do win the league. What would you take? Look, I'm, all I'm going to say is I could see where Spurs fans are coming from, right? Because I really didn't want that. I really don't want that. We know what the fan base is like. We know these things. And obviously, I just don't like Arsenal. So I'm happy. It's a rival thing. And I'm over the moon. We get the goal. Beforehand, I did do a little prediction, a little lineup, a little sort of preview of this game which i don't always do and i gave my team that i would honestly start and i did say a raheem sterling so once again i want to do a little i told you so for raheem sterling look i need to go to the raheem sterling train but it's just one of those things right that i, I all, and all my thing has ever been is that raheem sterling is not a priority in the in the sense that he needs to go get him out we need a we need a expensive wingers are coming and replacing the meat like that's not the thing we need so so badly um He's had a steady season. He had decent moments, decent patches of form, poor moments, life of a winger, inconsistent. But ultimately, when I look at the stats overall, I mean, when you look at all of our wingers and you add up all their goal involvements across all competitions, I think it's 38, which is two less than Cole Palmer on his own, which I think is 40 in all comps, um, if my maths is right anyway. Um, so obviously, you could argue not good enough, or you could also just argue... Cole Palmer's been a bit of a freak this season. I'm not talking about in a in that kind of sense, just a freak in, in the sense that he's just been playing out of his skin. Um, and look, he broke Hasselbank's record for like a first season. Um, he broke a lot of records. He got more more going from than Lampard, Hazard across all their seasons. So like, it's it's impressive stuff. I don't expect m many players and attacking players in the team to keep up with stats that, that high. Um, but yeah, all of the wings would, would want more from future seasons. But the way I see it, is that if this is Sterling having a down season, not a great season, um, and he still gets a decent amount of goals here and there, then to me the only way is up, or at least the same, and like I can deal with that, especially for the experience. We're already the youngest side in the league uh, this season. Thiago Silva is then going, who is like pushing 40, literally. And um, I don't see, aside from the fact that he has really high wages, I guess, um, comparatively speaking with everyone else, I get that. Um, I think his stats were like, uh, this is off the top of my head, so these might be wrong. Um, I think 10 goals in all comps, 8 assists. And then I think Mudrick had about, I want to say, basically Mudrick and Madueke were, there was a bit of a gap. No, a, a, dro a drop off between those two. Younger, granted, uh, New league, both of them bedding in. And I, I like all of our wings. The thing is, I like our winger options. And I like what, what um, Madueke's provided towards the end of the season. Um, I like seeing Mudrick go into himself. He, he he swings a little more hot and cold. But when he's hot, he's, he's red hot. And you can see him do some 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 great things as well. And Cole Palmer's obviously Cole Palmer. So I like the options we have there. I think, obviously, we'd be looking at another striker option. Because Jackson gets to see out every game all the time, regardless of how well he plays. We probably want someone else who's a definite plays through the middle a number nine um, outside of options and players who can do that we've played palmer as like a false nine this season um and kong who can can play through the middle but we kind of want a guy who is a striker um type thing so i'd say that would be more for priori i thought everyone played pretty well today um i'm thinking across the back line here uh, i think chalabal was really good he really impressed me kaiseido uh he's had a really strong end to the season and the goal Rooney, Beckham, what's going on here? You know, wait, what a way to get a first goal. End of the season, you leave it to the last game and then you go whip that out. The goal, he didn't whip it. Um, good. Thiago Silva, final game. 
what what can you say, man? Just 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 was kind of rocked up as a legend from day one because he was a legend. Uh, we signed a legend around three. And I remember thinking after he made a mistake in the, in the game where we got smashed by West Brom, oh no, as he kind of passed it, did he think he could just kind of come to the Prem and just sort of, you know, ooh la la around? But, but the, no, it was after that he, uh, he made that mistake in that game and then just been basically sick ever since. And he's had little mistakes here and there, probably. He's human, but damn, he's been so good. And you even watch him play and you think, he prob and I felt the same way kind of about Kante. Kante was a bit different because he was getting a lot of injuries, to be fair. But like, when they do play, you look at them and go, you could probably get another season out of them. I mean, Kante, I mean, international football is not the same level, right, as the Prem or whatever. But he's going he's, he's going away to France, right, for, for this upcoming tournament. You kind of look at Thiago Silva and go, I, would, I mean, you actually feel like you could get another season out of him. But he knows his body well enough. He's seen all the machines he's got in his house to keep him fresh. Um, I'm just happy. I like, you know, we've got the banners out for him. Um, a nice reception. He got to guess the guard of honour. And it's just crazy how quick the fans warm to him. He warm to the fans. He speaks so glowingly of the club. It's just nice to see. Just like, I don't know, it's just nice. It feels genuine. And yeah, I feel like we've ended the season on a really nice note. A season that, if you asked me like a month and a half ago, I was so certain we were going to be like 10th, 11th in the league. The fact that we got to a place where there was something to look forward to, something to fight for, and that maybe wouldn't have been what people were hoping for. Maybe people would be hoping for, yeah, at the beginning of the season, we'd be fighting in, in Champions League places, but considering how the season went, the fact that we even could fight for a potential Europa League place, finish above Newcastle and United have been bad in us all season, battle of the mid, whatever. Well, we finished on top of that mid, not even two, like three points or whatever, a couple points behind Spurs. They had Sheffield United a gimme on the end of the season. We could have finished above there. Like, it really did turn around quick. The way in which it has turned around, and I don't want to get carried away and be like, we're, look, I mean, we're amazing now, but type thing. But it's like, there's still frailties there. But it is it, the hope. You see how I just sort of let my mind wander there? It's the hope that I'm just gassed about. We're going into the summer and there being this hopeful what could happen, what if, which I, I thought there'd be nothing, just dead. Um, so for that alone, I'm grateful. I, I want to make a video in itself, sort of about Poch and the whole thing there. Uh, let my mind wander in. I also got to react to my Premier League predictions, my Chelsea predictions. Um, and see how well or badly I did in those. But thank you. It's been the end of the season. Now, fortunately, you didn't get a trophy. That's the one thing that sort of upset me. But, you know, we go again. We go again.